Hey, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Bartell back for some more math time. So today is kind of a fun lesson. We get to do some math and paper folding, kind of like origami. So what you're going to need, you're going to actually need square paper, square paper. So all four sides have to be equal. So if you were to take a sheet of paper, and I actually uploaded a video, I don't wanna use a brand new piece of paper for this, for this purpose, but you're gonna take, and we have done this in class before. So this is the bottom of the paper. You're gonna take this bottom right, and you're going to fold it up, almost like a triangle. And what you want, let me get this out of the way. What you want is to line it up carefully. It's almost like making a paper airplane, and I think you probably remember that because some people in our class were doing that after we were practicing doing this. Remember we made those little trifold cards? Okay, so what you'll do is you will cut this excess off this part, okay? And once you do that, you will have a perfect square, like so. And I can't make this smaller. My squares are big. So here's my square. So basically we're just gonna be folding square paper. Now there's some vocabulary in here. There's the word diagonal I'm seeing. We've talked about the word diagonal. In fact, if you open this up, here's the bottom. This is a diagonal line. It's like when you play a uh, connect four and it goes on a diagonal, not horizontal or vertical. So you are supposed to be taking a square sheet of paper and you are supposed to be folding that in half diagonally. So when you do that, boys and girls, you're gonna take one of the corners and you're gonna fold it to match this down here, this other corner. And it's gonna look like two triangles once you've folded it, okay? So once you've folded it, once you open it up, it's gonna look like two triangles like that. All right, so what part of the square is each triangle? Well, there's two of them, boys and girls. Two of them make the whole. So what unit fraction would each one be? Hopefully you're coming up with one half, right? The next thing says to fold the paper in half again. So now that I folded it this way, I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna fold it the opposite way now. So remember when we fold things in half and then we fold them in half again, it's gonna give us our quarters, right? So now, now you will have four sections four different sections, and each section will be one fourth. Now, fold it in half. So that was our first half. Fold it in half again. That gave us quarters. By the way, I hope you're labeling those, boys and girls. So if you didn't, I would label that. One half, one half, and then we came up with, we have quarters, fourths, one fourths. So I'm gonna fold it in half, I'm gonna fold it in half. Now, they said fold it in half again, a third time. I want you to predict what you think might happen too before you open it up. Okay, so let's open that baby up and see what we have. Hopefully you are recognizing that you have, and I'm gonna start clockwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sections. So each of these new pieces is an eighth, okay? Ooh, I see a right triangle right here. Hopefully you're recognizing some, some of the types of triangles that you're seeing. All right, so Explain how you know the eight parts have the same area. How do you know that they have the same surface area? So you will explain that. 
Ford, fold four triangles to the center as shown. So on this one, you will fold them to the center like this, and you will crease it like there, okay? So I'm not gonna go through the whole paper with you. I want you to think about what you're doing. I know you are critical thinkers. You can do this. Fold the four triangles to the center as shown, like this. What part of the square is each triangle? So remember to label your parts. Now I do have to tell you, one thing that I think is super helpful is to do them on separate paper, not to just keep using the same paper. When I did mine originally, I picked yellow for number one. Now you don't have to have colored paper, boys and girls, okay? But I picked <clears throat> a color for number one, and then I picked a separate color for problem two. And remember, you still follow the step from one to two. They kind of build on each other. But I used separate paper for each one so I could actually see what I was doing. Okay, it made it a lot easier. And again, guys, you don't have to use brand new paper, just use some scratch paper. And it doesn't have to be colored. But here was number three when we folded it. We folded it in half. Then we folded that half in half. And then we folded those quarters in half and we came up with the eights and then this next step was to fold these to the center to fold these to the center okay and when you came up with that you were supposed to um let's see what does it say what part of the square is each triangle explain how you know Okay, explain how you know. Then onto the back, it's just some more folding. Okay, they want you to fold a square sheet of paper in half three times and then open the paper. Choose two different colors. Color every other rectangle or triangle one color. Here's kind of like what mine looked like. Here's the top. I'd have to hold the iPad up too high for you to be able to see. But I did mine into triangles. I'm thinking he did not do his into triangles. He folded it like, um, what do we call that? Um, how we fold it in hot dog and hamburger, we call, we call that um, landscape and portrait, right? So there are different ways you can do that. Okay, there's some predicting involved. So this is kind of a fun activity and you should be able to see the fractions unfold in it. All right, boys and girls, have fun. Miss you, bye.